Okay, so welcome back to my channel, wherever you're watching this video from. This is going to be the next six months in your relationships, all right? So what I'm saying here is, over the next six months, here is your Sagittarius. Your family is going to be very important for you. Learning about your family, learning about your family's history, your family's stories, your family's cultural practices, the rights, the ancestral rights, the things. Basically, learn about the origins of your family. What 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 is your family known for? What talents, what skills run through your family? What are your family stories? What's your heritage? Okay. Um, what is your family popular for? What is your family known for? When you first when when your family was founded before modern life came into place. What was it that your family supplied to the community? What role did your family feel in the community? Okay, learn more about this because it's like there's something about you stepping into the role of taking your family heritage and story into the next generation. So, the only way you can build on the past is by you learning more about the past. All right. Over this next six months, really, over this next six months, you're also going to be working on improving the love. And the relationship between you and your parents. So, for those of you who have fallen out with your parents, you're going to be working on improving this relationship, repairing this relationship. Something that is actually coming through is the fact that you should realize that your parents love you as much as they can. So, while this might not be exactly as being as fulfilling or as enriching or as rewarding as you wished it was, especially maybe when growing up, you saw some lapses maybe in the way your friends' parents were, maybe in the things they were able to provide for you and things they could not provide. One point Spirit is saying is that they loved you the best way they could, even if that way was not to your own standards, because I mean, you might also have placed some standards. You might have had some expectations they weren't able to meet. You have to realize that they did what they they did what they could with what they had, okay? They did what they could with what they had. And then it's also about realizing that these persons are your parents, are also people like you. They are humans like you, learning through their mistakes, growing through the process of growing up. Most of you, as you're watching this video, your parents were around your ages. <laughs> when you were younger so imagine how you are now maybe in your 30s in your early 40s in your late 20s and how how, how is your mental state how is your emotional state how is your physical health what how is your decision making capacity how is your decision making skill so imagine how for those of you who have children already, how your children already see you now, maybe there's some things you do and they're like, they don't understand. That's the same as you were when you were a child and your parents were trying to learn through um, being a parent, growing up literally, they were learning through that process, okay? So over these six months, your relationship with your parents is going to be very pivotal for you to be able to rely on as a form of support. For those of you that your parents have passed, your parents are also going to be pulling in strongly every over this next six months they're going to bring in their presence felt so maybe you see their faces you hear their names people tell you stories about them for some of you maybe all the memorial services for your parents and then if you happen to watch this this is going to be your next six months from whenever you're watching this but if you happen to watch this around um or before halloween okay so um october 31st i want you to do something significant for your parents that have crossed over to the other side maybe bring out their pictures memorize um memorialize them in some way or some form maybe for those of you who have children already tell your children about your parents for those of you who don't you can also like bring out their pictures lay out like maybe their best food their best drinks just something to honor and remember them okay it's going to make them feel really good especially for those that passed away for those of you who still have parents in this earthly room this is a reminder like you need to pull close to them every day we don't have there's no guaranteed moment or guaranteed time no promise day it's just that you have to keep living each day as it comes so use this time to repair any rift any separation any disconnection or distance between you and your parents okay 
Then lastly, what came out for overall message for fire signs, Aries, Julian, Sagittarius is this thing you're waiting for that you're asking spirit for is going to happen very, very, very soon. This is good news you keep waiting for is going to happen very soon. You should expect that it's going to happen within three to six months from seeing this video, but it's even going to happen sooner than that. Um, what I'm hearing is like you've also done a lot. So it's like, see, if you look at the sun, in this what i'm being pulled to is like you're already at the dawn of the horizon so you pull through you walked all through the night now the dawn is very close where your success is very close just keep on keeping on and it's like your work your relationship with your parents is also going to help you maintain the faith and give you the support you need to focus on just showing up as you wait for this good news okay so i'm going to go into the individual readings so for fire signs aries leo and sagittarius we get some more clarity on what's happening very soon, what you're expecting very soon, and whatever else you need to do to prepare to receive these incoming blessings. Also, what part of your family culture do you need to pay attention to? And lastly, for those of you who have separated from your parents, how can you heal this relationship with your parents? Okay, so these are the relationships that are being very prominent in your energies over this next six months. All right, love.